In settlement geography, two important concepts often used to describe the location and positioning of settlements are site and situation. Site refers to the actual piece of land on which a settlement is built, focusing on its physical characteristics such as relief, water supply, soil, and natural resources. On the other hand, situation refers to the location of a settlement in relation to its surrounding features such as rivers, roads, markets, and other settlements. These two concepts work together to explain why settlements are located where they are and how they grow and develop. 10 Differences Between Site and Situation in Settlement 1. Definition Site refers to the actual physical land or ground on which a settlement stands, considering factors like relief, drainage, and soil, while situation describes the settlement's location in relation to surrounding human and physical features such as roads, rivers, and neighboring towns. 2. Focus. Site focuses on the immediate natural characteristics of the land itself where the settlement is established, whereas situation focuses on the external connections and position of the settlement within a wider area. 3. Nature. Site is mainly concerned with physical and natural factors such as water sources, shelter, and fertile soil, while situation is concerned with socioeconomic and strategic factors like proximity to trade routes and markets. 4. Permanency. The site of a settlement is permanent and fixed because it describes the exact piece of land occupied, but the situation can change over time as surrounding features like roads, towns, and economic hubs develop. 5. Examples. Examples of site factors include flat land, presence of a river, and fertile soil, whereas examples of situation factors include being along a major road, near a mining town, or at a river confluence. 6. Influence on settlement growth. Site influences the initial establishment of a settlement since people settle where conditions are favorable for survival, while situation influences the growth, importance, and development of the settlement over time. 7. Relationship to human activity. Site relates more to natural factors and less to human activities, while situation directly relates to human activities such as trade, transport, and defense, affecting a settlement's socioeconomic status. 8. Impact on settlement function. The site can determine the type of economic activities done locally, e.g. fishing near a river, whereas the situation can determine a settlement's role and function within a region, such as becoming a trade center or administrative capital. 9. Change over time. Site characteristics such as relief and soil remain largely unchanged, while situation can evolve as transport networks, industries, and neighboring settlements develop or decline. 10. Strategic importance. The site determines if the land is safe and suitable for settlement in terms of physical conditions, while the situation determines the strategic importance of a settlement in regional or national networks for trade, defense, or administration.